Good morning. Welcome to another episode of So With Joy. All right, so um, I, this might be a clue of what I'm doing today. So I'm doing something slightly different. I know that uh, usually during this, these I sew, and I promise you I will be sewing. But I wanted to take some time here to put on a bonnet wrap, which should give you a clue of what our topic is going to be today. If you have been following us, um, you know, I posted earlier this week about, uh, I posted Monique's um, comments about wearing bonnets outside the home. And I am, um, this is what we call a bonnet wrap. It's like a turban and just, you know, showing you how, I put this on here, uh, but I wanted to talk about um, bonnets versus bonnet wraps and also see what your take is because most people said, no, I would not wear a bonnet outside my home, which you know what? You're right. <laughs> um, but um, on the flip side, and when I post this to our uh, YouTube page, I'm going to share a picture on there as well because, um, you know, you're gonna find it somewhere up here, just so I'm, I'm, I'm pointing there so that you can get that later. Um, but the reason I'm doing that is because I want people to see how society sometimes changes the way we view and see things. So typically, most people, um, they associate bonnets with African-Americans. So yes, you know, we primarily put them on because we wanna keep our hair protected. We don't wanna have issues with our hair, which makes sense. You don't want your hair to get tangled. And that's awesome. That's what we wanna do, taking care of our hair so that we can wake up in the morning and just say, you know, I woke up like this. Yay, awesome. Um, and like I said, it's still so with joy. So I'm going to be sewing only this time I'm making a, a, a bun maker, which, um, which requires some hand stitching. So I'm gonna be doing that as I talk to you and I'll show you if I'm able to finish this before we, uh, this video is over because I do have um, some commitments too <laughs> outside of this. But anyways, so the reason um, I wanted to talk about this is because there's been a lot of hype about what you can wear outside your home. Now, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not saying, you know, it's appropriate to wear bonnets outside the home. All I'm saying is if you're wearing uh, if society has deemed that bonnets are not okay outside the home, the same thing should be applied across the board and not just in one direction, okay? So that take that for what it is. Um, but on the flip side, you know, Monique did say something which it's something I grew up with. When I was younger, my mom would always say, you know what, people treat you the way they see you. You know, first impressions matter. If you want people to see you in a positive light, then, you know, show yourself in a positive light. You know, and and that makes such a huge difference. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you who have been out on job interviews have experienced that where you go in on a job interview and, you know, you if you see someone and some, or something seems off, which is your first impression, the first thing is you, you either make up your mind that maybe this is not the place for me or if you're a manager you make up your mind that this is not the candidate for me and the same thing applies here with hair bonnets now we are a bonnet maker so that should even tell you something when we say oh you know this is appropriate or this is not appropriate that should tell you that um we care about how you look out in public now so this is a bonnet uh, a bonnet wrap that i'm wearing which is very different from a hair bonnet the reason a lot of times you will see, um, and there are other options out there. There's a slap cap and, you know, like a satin line slap cap. There are a lot of other things you can still put on your head. There are turbans you can still wear on your head. Um, the reason I am a little more partial to, um, to a bonnet wrap is because it stays on. It has the elastic to help with the, you know, help it stay on. And then you can adjust it as loose or as tight as you want. And it still includes the internal satin lining as opposed to what you would get with most turbans out there that don't have the satin lining in them. So that's kind of why uh, we're kind of partial to having the bonnet wrap here. But in any case, I would wear this if I was going out. If I was running an errand, I would wear this and I just need to tuck that in there somewhere. I would wear this. I would have a problem wearing this it's um sorry <laughs> i didn't do a good job doing this because i was trying to rush to get through this but anyways i would wear this going out um if i was going to a store if i was get dressed uh, getting dressed up for an event i would glam it up a little bit with maybe a slightly different style we do have some styles uh, where we uh, some videos on youtube where we showcase our different styles 
Um, but that would be different from actually wearing a bonnet, which does not really have much of a shape outside of what you see. And also, um, which is clearly more geared towards at home use. Now, you know, people say, well, society did this and whatever. And yes, I did mention that earlier in our video. And the reason I did that is because we all live by society's standards, whether we like it or not. Society dictates that we put on clothes in the morning when we go outside. You're not going to go out naked. That's just the way society put it, right? So um, it's it's one thing where you can say you want to rebel against the way society views things, but it's also another thing where we conform. And this is one of those things where I think over time people have learned to just conform. It's the same way until recently where we had a lot of people who just thought having your natural hair was just not appropriate. Um, but over time people do wear their natural hair, but they wear it in a, cer in a certain way to kind of bring um, less negative attention to it, right? So with with all that said, I say this to say, you know, um, I am not up against what Monique said, um, but I can tell you that when I've had international trips, I have put on a hair bonnet in when I got, you know, when I'm in the plane, um, if it's an over, especially if it's an overnight trip, and I know that I'm going to be sleeping or taking a nap. I mean, if you guys have seen the, if you've been on a plane, you've seen the headrests on those planes, and they sometimes don't look all that great. I'm gonna adjust this because it's it's bugging me. Um, so let me get that all sorted out here. Okay. So um, yeah, I I have my hair out in um, twist in the back. But anyways, so if you've been on a plane, you've seen some of the things, um, you've seen the headrest, that you're probably not a fan of the way they look anyway, so you wanna make sure that your hair stays protected. Um, and that's what I primarily do. I would wear my, um, my bonnet on a plane. I don't question that at all, especially if it's an overnight plane and I plan on sleeping on that plane. You will see me in a hair bonnet, that's for sure. Now, will I wear it out, off of the plane? Absolutely not. You would not see me wearing a hair bonnet off that plane. Why? Because yes, like Monique says, I do care about how I am viewed um, outside of the fact that in, you know, in my other day life, I am also a manager and, you know, I, I wouldn't want someone, I wouldn't want to run into someone and look special. And by special, I mean look inappropriate. Um, outside of that, I think I do want, I care about how people view me. First impressions make a difference. You don't want to be seen as someone who just does not care about the way you look. So, uh, okay, that's much better. Thank you. So with that in mind, um, you can wear your bonnets at home. You can wear them to hang out. At home, you can wear them for a sleepover at home. But, or you can wear them for an international flight like I do, where the blinds are usually, the shut, the blinds are usually down, the window blinds are down, or um, oh, the shades are down, rather than the blinds. The shades are down, and um, you're able to just, you're ready to get some rest. People put on the eye covers and everything, the set and co uh, covers and all that stuff. That's perfectly fine. But should you wear them once you're up? My answer is no. Um, and, um, and this is coming from me as a bonnet maker. I just feel that there are other things you can wear. Now, if you have a bonnet wrap on hand or a slap cap or something uh, like a turban or a headband, those are appropriate to wear. Um, and just the same way you wouldn't wear your bathrobe out in public to go walk around the mall, um, this would apply as well. You just wouldn't wear this outside. Um, to go do other things. So I would love to hear from you guys. I want to hear your thoughts on this because it seems to be making the rounds this week and people seem to be, you know, some people get hurt by it saying, well, I don't want to live by what society says and blah, blah, blah. Why does society get to dictate this? And I don't think it's cultural appropriation. So um, yeah, let's not bring that into it. But that's something I've seen and heard, uh, read on um, TikTok and a few other social media platforms. I think this is just a way where we've all learned to conform. And in this instance, it's just, you know, my example still stands. You would not go out naked. 
So the same way you wouldn't go out naked, you wouldn't wear your hair bonnet. The same way you wouldn't go out in your bathrobe um, to hang out at the mall, you should not wear your hair bonnet to hang out or to go to the mall or to go to the store. Um, a turban is perfectly fine. A headband is perfectly fine. Um, so that's really all I wanted to say today. I, um, if you feel differently, please feel free to slide into my direct mail and send me a message. I am more than happy to read and see and hear where other people are coming from. Um, but you know, that's the stance we take, even as a bonnet make. Anyways, um, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. I haven't finished doing this yet. Um, these are our satin hair buns. I'm still um, finishing it up. So as you can see, I still have an area there where I need to finish um, stitching it up. But it's going to go in the mail. These are really great. They're appropriate for people who, um, if you want to get your hair done, you don't want to mess it up. Like I said, you know, satin helps keep your hair from having frizz. It helps um, for tangles and things like that. So if you just want a quick hair bun and you don't want to have to worry about pulling your hair out later on when you're done, these are the bun makers for you. It's listed on our website. We have it in black blonde and purple and the purple was actually as a result of someone um, requesting a custom order which was perfect because I, I could not even believe how beautiful it turned out when I saw it I was like oh my gosh this is absolutely gorgeous you know when you do something you're like wow why did I think of this earlier so that's one of those anyways um like I said please feel free to reach out and if you have not already done so please take a moment to visit our website at www.printedbonnet.com I also want to remind you, I posted this yesterday in our story, so I will be offering classes this summer um, called I Sew With Joy. If you have not done so, it's listed under our events on our page, printedbonnet.com slash events. You can sign up for one of the classes. They are intro classes. You don't need to be a master or expert sew. As a matter of fact, these are geared towards people who are just learning to sew. If you just want to learn to hand stitch and things like that, we'll be offering more classes later on as we go along, crocheting and knitting, you know, my home economics class from my childhood coming into play here so if you're interested please don't forget to sign up for one of those classes we would love to have you they're virtual so it means all you need is just your camera and you can just log in all right have a wonderful day if you have not done so again visit our site www.printedbonnet.com and until next time remember to embrace culture with style and have fun while you're at it thank you